Cubic Labs presents Boston Blockchain Week, stepping into the future. Celebrating the creators, innovators, and heroes of blockchain and Web3. I'm Mike Joshua from Mudhouse Media, reporting from Boston Blockchain Week 2022, presented by Cubic Labs. With me now is Z, co-founder and CEO of Taco. Welcome, Z. Thank you. Give us a little uh, a background of what Taco is all about. So Taco is building gamified commerce for the next generation, except these games aren't in the metaverse, they're in real life. So for example, in the past, the literal examples you could use is uh, collecting passport stamps, like you go to Disneyland, you go on a ride, you get a stamp, or a cereal box, you open it, collect a, a trinket. So we take that, but put it all on chain. So why do we do it on chain? Uh, because of interoperability. So if you played a game with Nike, you played a game with a different brand, and somebody else wanted to build some kind of gamification experience on top of that, you don't need anybody's, anybody's permission. You can build any game that excites your consumers. And we think that's the future of what the next generation wants. Great. So explain a little bit about uh, your, your mission here uh, this week uh, with Taco at Boston Blockchain. Sure. So I think part of it is um, education of what Web3 can become. I think in the past we've seen a lot of rug pulls. We've seen people like selling NFTs. It's like the South Park underpan nobs problem, you know, uh, sell NFTs. Step three is make profit. But what is actually step two and how do you actually like, what is the middle layer of this? And I think there's different applications of what you could use Web3 for. There's a lot of like tokenization. There's a lot of fractionalization that's going on. But I think in, in general, when you think about anything that has caught on, a lot of it is gamified. Like commerce itself is gamified. Uh, Starbucks has a pretty good gamification in like their stars and collecting stars. And of course, last week they announced the Odyssey program, which is going to be even more gamification but what's really interesting about the gamification they talk about is that their metric is getting consumers to use their app more. So it's not just, I'm gonna open up Starbucks to order coffee. This is, I'm gonna open up Starbucks to play games with other people who order coffee. And I think that's very interesting with what we're seeing with like the blend of the metaverse and maybe cyberpunk. And what, like for example, my son, he's 10. He spends his entire day on Roblox. So if his consumer behavior is spending eight hours, 10 hours, you know, grinding away, winning avatars and tokens in a game, what's his experience going to be like when he actually goes and buys something five, six years from now online or in person? What kind of gamification is he expecting when he gets there? So I think part of it is education, part of it is sharing what we're doing. And then in the, in the panel we just had, you know, we shared how we've done it for a car wash. You think of NFTs in Web3 and you don't think of car washes. Like nobody at a car wash wants an NFT. They're just there to get their car washed. But we were able to take this car wash example and make it a very gamified experience where you're enticing the player to go to different car washes, go up in different tiers, and make it a fun thing for them to go up tiers and win prizes and things like that. Let's talk a little bit uh, about the importance of Boston Blockchain Week and events like it. Why is it so vital for like-minded people to come together? So I moved to Boston in 2014. And the take that I have on like blockchain and not just like maybe blockchain week, but why Boston blockchain week, what we saw the past two years is Silicon Valley and everybody moving to Miami. And I still go to Miami once a month uh, because that's where blockchain is. Like people think blockchain is decentralized. No, it's actually in Miami, <laughs> right? There's where all the NFTs are. You could every like, you know how a uh, year you'll see posters up on walls, like about lost cats and people doing panel lessons. Over there you have QR codes because you can collect NFTs just by scanning the QR code. Uh, I realized that blockchain or NFTs were gonna make it mainstream when I was ordering a chicken sandwich at this restaurant in Miami and I heard the person next to me ask like, oh, how, like, how good is this chicken sandwich? And the guy's answer was, it's super rare because NFTs are super rare, you know? <laughs> so when it's made it to like the lingo of you ordering a sandwich, I was like, all right, either I'm in like the wrong kind of state and world and I've crossed over to the metaverse or this is actually happening. Right, awesome. What is the, it's a, it's a big question. What does the future of blockchain technology look like uh, in your eyes? So I think what's really interesting about the future of blockchain technology is that it is going to be not at the forefront. It's gonna be in the background. I think it'll enable interoperability, it'll enable marketplaces where you basically buy and exchange stuff because you have ownership of those assets. It could be fractional asset, it could be a reward, it could be maybe airline points, it could be a hotel stay, it could be a lounge pass. 
blockchain itself won't be in the forefront, it, but it will be what unlocks everything. And consumers won't care if it's Web 2 or Web 3. What they'll care about is, can I own it? Can I share it? Can I do whatever I want with it? Because that's what Web 3 and blockchain promises. Fantastic. Uh, Z, anything going on at uh, Taco that's uh, new? Or what, what are you excited about at Taco right now? So what we're actually excited about is our customers. Um, the car wash was the first one we actually went live with. It got decent coverage on Coindesk. Uh, we're working, working with this brand called Future Kimonos. Uh, they are the official partner for Flow Grappling, which is jiu-jitsu and everything about jiu-jitsu. They have the best merchandise out there, so we're partnering with them to launch their game experiences. This takes um, not just the black belts and the yellow belts and the white belts. It adds a layer of tokenization on top of that. So not only do you show up for participation and get the belts, you also get these tiers, and you go to different clubs, basically doing the in-real-life experience. And I think just looking at these different customers with the different experiences and how they want to launch into Web3 is basically an education course. So six months out, a year out, even if the entire Web3 market dies, we're having so much fun learning about what marketing psychology can bring to the table that we are basically learning more about that than what Web3 has to offer at the end result. And how can people get in touch with Taco? Taco.xyz. Simple domain, simple food. Everybody loves tacos. (laughs) Awesome. Z, thank you so much. Thank you very much. For more on Boston Blockchain Week, go to bostonblockchainweek.com. For more about Cubic Labs, go to cubiclabs.com.